Hey guys, welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm going to show you um, about the tooltip and the error provider tutorial. Uh, I mean, the error provider um, uh, object and the tooltip object. So I'm just going to create it, and that's actually pretty easy. Oh, uh, actually pretty handy. So, like, we will uh, ask the program to and uh, add an age, and we are going to add a text box behind it. So that means an age is always numeric. I mean, I never saw any kind of age with any kind of strange um l num uh, sign something in it. Well, it would be pretty strange, but okay. So right now I'm going to change the <coughs> to change the text of the form to something like uh, age or something. I make it a fixed single. I make the maximize box false. Um. So now oh, I'm going to add a button like submit or something. Submit. So now I'm going to drag um, the air provider first. Um, just create something because it will be popping up there. Um, so we can oh, we can also set right now the tooltip object. It's actually the same. So right now. We will double click on the submit button and going to type if if not so if text oh is numeric is numeric so this will um this will give you a value of is it if it is numeric so it just if not is numeric I mean then you will have some put some kind of string or value uh, well actually string into the expression um, between those brackets and um, it will uh, look um, if it's numeric so if it's not numeric then it's going to be like uh, how uh, error provider one is called so uh, error provider Fighter one dot set error. Now open bracket now. Um, a control so an object and it's going to be text box one dot text. And then then the value of the string and that means the error actually what's going to show up. So no valid age like that. Be sure to uh, close the bracket. Oh, you don't have to put in text. I'm sorry. Um. So. Um. Well, now it looks kind of strange, as you may saw already. So let's make this one a little bit bigger. So right now you you gotta have to see this right. So when I press A or something, it will show this bubble, and when I go over it with my mouse, it will sh show you no valid age. So. Um. Well, I can press like 16 or something, and it won't show you anything. So when I put an A in it, it shows you this error. So now the tooltip. I'm going to do this on load. So tooltip one dot set tooltip. Oh, actually kind of the same. So then you control. Um, it's going to be button one. And then press this button to submit your data. And close the bracket, of course. Now let's test it out. Or check it out, see? And now it shows you press the button to submit your data. Um, so you can also do something like um, again this I'm going to copy this because I'm lazy and then text box one and then insert your age here 
well kind of obvious obviously um, so I can make more examples of this but it's kind of easy see it's just actually when you know the um, one of these like if you know the air provider you also know about the tooltip um, if you know about the tooltip, you also know about the air provider because they are slightly the same. Well, there's not that much difference, only than that the function is not called a set error, but it's called set tooltip. So, well, it's kind of obviously that a um, tooltip object don't show you errors. So. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, visit my blog. Uh, link is in the description of the video. Yeah, you can also email me at gnbjbnk dot at gmail dot com. I mean, also in the link of the, also in the description. My I mean, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.